Section 2, Website Testing. During this section of the course, we want to take a look at a few things. The first thing we're going to look at is WordPress. We'll discover how to exploit a WordPress website. We'll move on to Burp Suit. Here, we'll perform a web app security testing and audit. We'll use XSSER in order to conduct a web application pen test audit. And then we'll use the code. We'll view the source code of our target. We can use Wireshark to scan for any open ports with Wireshark. And then finally, we want to take a look at MX Toolbox. This is what we're going to use to extract any and all information we can about the website. Hacking a WordPress website. Hacking a WordPress website can literally be done in just three easy steps. The first step we need is to find an active user. So here we're going to search for any login details that we can find in order to log in with. I highly recommend getting a admin level or root access account. The next step is going to be brute forcing the password. Now we, that we have a username we can use, what we need to do is test out if we have their password in our dictionary. So we're just going to go ahead and throw a brute force attack at that and attempt to crack their password. We're going to test and take control. While our test indicates that we have the username and we have their password, let's go to the website to test it out and see if we can log in. In this video, WP Scan hacking a WordPress website. WP Scan. We can utilize this tool in order to extract any active users with their accounts. We can also see some other WordPress services, and we can also use the WP Scan or brute force from within inside this tool. So we're inside of our Kali Linux machine. One of the first things we want to do is we want to go ahead, let's open up our Firefox web browser. And then we'll go ahead and navigate directly to the target's website. So here is istrepairs.com. And if you're not real 100% for sure, just scroll all the way down to the very, very bottom. And we can see, proudly powered by WordPress. So we know that this website is vulnerable with WordPress. So what we want to do is figure out what's the login information. So if we come over here to wp-admin, this is generally the default login for all WordPress websites. So we are here. What we want to do is we just want to go ahead and minimize this window. Open up our terminal. Let me adjust this. So the first thing we want to do is we want to type in wp scan dash dash url. So what we've done so far is we've called the script wp scan and we want to throw some arguments at it. And the first argument we want is to tell to look for a URL, specifically istrepairs.com. Now what we want to do is we want to gather any usernames that there may be. So we'll do dash dash enumerate you. This way it'll enumerate any usernames. So we click enter, then what it'll do is we will, let's see. Okay, so now that the first thing we have is it seems like you have not updated the database for some time. This is your first time loading up WP Scan, or if you haven't used it in like four or five months, go ahead and press Y so that way you can update your uh, database for WP scan. Once it updates that, it's going to automatically go ahead and start cracking the website. Okay, so the first thing that we can see is the URL, which is our target. We can see the start date and time that we started our attack. The WordPress, we can see right here where there's an exclamation point. We want to pay attention to that. That means that there's something good on the inside. So let's take a look here. The WordPress istrepairs.com forward slash readme.html. That file exists, but we can see it's exposing a version number. Now this is helpful because we can look, we can actually navigate to that URL and we can look at the readme and we can determine what WordPress version they're using. Then we can perform like a Google search in order to see if there's any vulnerabilities or exploits that has been known or that people have reported for that specific WordPress version. If we scroll down here, 
we have another exclamation point. The directory listing above is enabled with IST WP content uploads, and we have WP includes. These are great because we can use these to basically these are the directories that we want to upload to, and here's what we have for like plugins and other stuff like that. Now here is a very interesting header right here. This is one thing I want to point out. An interesting header for a server. That's right. It actually pulled the server information. According to our report, we're using an Apache server. The Apache version is 2.4.25. The server, the virtual server that it's using, or the standard server it's using, is Ubuntu. For anybody that knows me, knows that, yes, I would probably be using Ubuntu. We can see that the WordPress version is 4.8.2. We can see that this WordPress was released 2017-919. Now we can talk about the theme. WordPress, the theme that's in use, the active theme right now, is 2017 version 1.3. Let's take a look at that right quick. So we have the theme name, the theme version. Word WP Scheme will also look for the latest version of that theme and give you that latest version number. And it'll tell you, yes, we are up to date, or no, we're not. It tells you the location of where we have the theme installed at, the readme file for that theme, the style URL for that theme, the URI, so if we wanted to, we can go to this URL right here, and we can download that theme if we chose to. So we have a lot of great things right there. Now let's get down to the goody part, the one that I know that you guys have been waiting for enumerating the usernames does it work yes it does work here is my information right here a love a l o v e a for aubrey in case you was wondering no it's not olive then we have admin admin level let's break this down so you don't get too confused this right here the login this is literally pretty much just their nickname or their username that they used to log in with wordpress the name generally is first name and last name uh first name and then last name so when you're searching for like if you go to a random wordpress website chances are they're not going to have an admin admin level that's one that i created so we know okay here's an admin account um, generally for noob wordpress users or you know just somebody that throws together a wordpress website for the company or even in large companies even for that matter they would have a login name with admin. They'd even have one maybe with uh, root or IT tech or tech or something like that to indicate that it is going to be an admin level account. So what we want to do now is we want to go ahead and we want to do another WP scan dash dash URL www.istrepairs.com. So now we have called the same script WP scan again. And we're give, given the same first argument. We're going to call the URL that we want to go to. However, what we want to do now is we want to throw a word list at it. So we'll do dash dash word list. And then from here, what we can do is, in fact, we can grab the password dictionary, password.txt file that we had created earlier. One click and drag that directly onto our terminal. Now that we have our word list selected, we want to select the username. So if we do dash dash user name, we can select if we want a love or admin. Me personally, I want to go after the admin. I want full control, full power of this website. So I'm going to do admin and then I'm going to let it run its course. Now WP scan is going to do the exact same thing I did the first time. The only difference is it will not enumerate the usernames, but instead, It'll attempt to crack that password for us. So, this was done really fast. Chances are, this will not be done as fast. The reason for that is because the password that we have in our password dictionary happens to be one of the first ones on top. And it, so it just happens, we just happen to have that password. And it happens to be near the top. If that password right there, that's inside of our password dictionary, if that was further down, like at the very bottom of the list, depending on how many passwords we have in there, it could take a few hours before it cracks this. So what we want to do now is we want to go ahead and come over here and we want to copy this. 
highlight it all, right click and copy. And the reason I say you want to copy it is because when you're sitting here looking at it, you don't want to say, well, do I have this? Did I type it in right? You know, because if you can't log in, incorrect password, it's better just copy and paste the password. That way you know how to say, well, did I type it in right or not? So what we're going to do is we're going to type in admin inside of the username. And then we're just going to right click in the password field and paste that same password. And we'll click on login. Let's go ahead and click remember me. And there we go. We have full access to istrepairs.com on the WordPress website. One thing I can do if I wanted to, the first thing I would do if I was malicious about it is I'd go into my users and I'd look at all, all the different users there is. And if I really wanted to, I'd come over here to A Love. I'd scroll down here. I'd either just go ahead and give them just an author role model, a, a contributor, or maybe even a subscriber. One of the very basic roles that has like hardly anything they can't do. I could be nice, give them an author so they can still create posts, they can still create ad media and stuff like that. We could change the nickname if we wanted to. We could change the email even. Change the profile picture. We could even get real malicious and generate some random password for them. And then save that password. A love tries to log back in again. He can't log in because he doesn't have this new password. Once we have generated a new password for him, what we would do then is log out everywhere. That way, if he has an active session, let's say on his laptop or maybe his Android or iPhone, if we click log out everywhere, then he won't be logged in anywhere else, no matter where he is. All of his devices would be locked out of WordPress. Another thing we want to do, if we're stupidly malicious about it, is we could just delete that. Just delete that user. What we could do if we have admin access, we're trying to be malicious about it. The first thing I would personally do is I'd come all the way down here to generate password. And then I would actually just change this password to PA s s w zero r d 2017 so then that way whenever i save the changes log out of everywhere else that way no matter who's logged into this website as admin i will log them out when they try to log back in they won't log in because they don't have this new password i could be that malicious about it we could change the themes completely so we could change the theme completely differently if you're wordpress theme creator you could upload your own theme add a new theme from the market we could just have a whole bunch of fun with this thing let's do online mag let's just install that because we have admin access we don't care it's not our website so let's go ahead and install this one and then we'll activate it now let's go ahead and test that theory out right quick so if we open up a new tab istrepairs.com we can see that it looks 100% different. It does not look the same. So there's that one. Now another thing that I would do is I'd go into the pages. If I was being malicious, I did not have authorization to come here. I'd go to the pages and I'd look for the front page. This is the front page that everybody sees when they first go to this website. And I would make sure that I put hacked by either my alias name or my real name if I'm being funny with my friend. Or I would just give some random company like so let's say we hacked, as an example, let's say Dell has their own WordPress theme. And then let's say Apple has a WordPress website. Now what we could do is, hacked, if we hacked into Dell, we could say hacked by Apple, and then put the Apple URL for the WordPress website. And then before you know it, you have this huge war going on between Dell and Apple, because Apple apparently hacked Dell. It won't be until, you know, they look at the logs, the IP logs, to realize, oh, Apple didn't do it. He did it. So there's that option we have.